हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग इज माय वॉइस इज वेरी लो नो दैट्स प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम बिफोर ओह ओके ओके सो प्लीज राइट डाउन अगेन इफ इट इज स्टिल लो ओके सो टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर द spiral art session and as you all know i'm your host nidhi prakash my co-host is my husband ajay prakash hello ajay hello how are you he is here with me and helping me in the chat so as i hope you all have attended my earlier spiral art session they are kind of like this was my last spiral art session these are some few these are basically beautiful slanted line you can accent them with the color you can accent them with the shading with different other little more tangles darker thicker pen lighter pen and little golden silver colorful accent so it's it depends how you want to add little bit more other elements to your these spiral arts so these are the various spiral arts and today this is my 59th spiral art session as i kept record of all the strings which i use before i start the spiral art we need to divide our paper into several several sections for that we draw the string so let's start we are working on a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper we need one black marker pen one pencil for the shading and one tortillon for the blending you can use any kind of blending device or any pencil is fine any graphite pencil will work i'm here using pigma micron 08 any black marker pen would work whatever you have and please draw 6 inch by 6 inch square if you are working on a little bigger size paper or maybe if you want to work on a bigger size paper then also it's absolutely fine you can extend it to the any you know any level bigger size so let's start from the borders take your time if you want you can use ruler if you want you can go free hand it's absolutely your choice you can draw the whole string with help of ruler if you want you can use ruler to mark down the center point yes the video is stuck uh, yes video is stuck i'm sorry guys again it seems like my video is stuck and wifi is not connecting again sorry guys so now let's start so first <clears throat> find out kind of the center of the sheet and draw the horizontal line if you want you can use ruler you can use ruler to divide it into four equal parts like the way we did yesterday when we drew our zendala this is the zendala which we drew yesterday and we divided our whole page into eight equal sections once when we started this is what we are doing today but we are doing freehand because this is the spiral art so i really don't want to use the ruler here but if you want you can use not a problem
after this kind of you know I'm just marking it little with just with my eye and drawing this beautiful square shape we are still working on the string guys and then here inside I'm joining them A little round it's going out it's okay I just want to make this line a little thicker double line going out and in And we are going to fill this line so it's absolutely fine we'll make thick thicken this line so one line should go little out one line should touch the border and it's absolutely fine if it is little thick little out because it's totally hand-drawn string and that's the fun in the spiral art that it's very organic if you want you can use little thicker tip pen like the way I used yesterday the chisel tip pen to keep it same but in this one I really want to keep it very loose Just enjoy the drawing, draw freely, have fun. Don't for don't bother too much about the you know about the shape, about the perfection in this one, especially in this kind of art. We draw it very free. You can use ruler, that's not the problem if you really want to keep it very, you know, propor proportionate. But uh, we generally keep it very loose, draw very free with the hand so we really don't bother about the perfection or the perfect size of the equal blocks hello mom happy holy and happy holy to everyone yes as crafty that's the fun in these drawing so there is nothing called a mistake and there is no mistake in these kind of pattern drawing whatever you're drawing make it a part of your art that's the fun right and in these live sessions it happens a lot so we should never afraid of you know doing any not what we have planned and that's the fun that we draw something what we have not planned and then how we incorporate it in our art okay now let's start first we are going to work in these eight triangular pies we'll start from the every pie will start from the left top round corner we will go round and we'll start making our spirals keep rotating your paper wherever is required draw every line slowly draw all the way when you reach to the core of your this triangle let me focus it a little bit more and again we will start from this top left round corner will go clockwise according to the line we keep drawing slanted lines take your time draw slow 
spiral art is very fun kind of art keep drawing these are the continuous slanted line and you reach to the core and here we got our first this twisted drum twisted column again we'll start from this left corner we'll go towards right and we keep drawing clockwise slanted line in our pie Again, same thing. That's how we are going to get these beautiful twisted columns all around in this inner circle shape. Every time start from the top left corner of the pie and go towards the right hand side. You can use little thick tip pen, thin tip pen, it's absolutely fine. I'm here using Micron 08 Pigma Sakura pen. The tip size of this pen is, I think the tip size is 0.5 mm, yes. If you want to know about the actual tip size, 08 is the number of the pen actually. The tip size is 0.5 mm. <laughs> I love these spiral art keep drawing keep drawing these continuous lines are so much fun to draw Beautiful. Lots of love to mommy. Here you go, this is our beautiful center of this spiral art and now here you see we have these corners which I am just reinforcing a little bit. And in these corners we are just going to do the striping kind of thing and all these lines just doing two lines in each sections which are coming to the corners this is the accent and this spiral art so if you want you can use some colors to fill in here maybe some alternate colors or maybe the same color in the all four corners it's your choice if you have more space you can draw three lines that's also absolutely fine 
If you have less space, you can draw two lines. Fill these with the beautiful lines and after that, we are going to start working. I'm just making this little thicker here, reinforcing these lines a little bit more. Maybe if you have the thicker tip pen, you can use that. That would be, you know, quicker and you get the sharper lines if you use the thicker tip pen, but you can use the same tip pen with few extra strokes and you get it. This is the last one. I was forgetting this one. Here you go. Now we are going to work in our these outer section. Do you guys want me to wait or are you guys all catching up well? So let me wait for 30 seconds and write down in the chat. If you are drawing along with me, write down one and write down two. If you are just enjoying watching me drawing this beautiful spiral art. So please write down one or two. Thank you, H Crafty. Thank you, Sujit. Thank you, Shubha. And whoever is drawing along with me right now, or maybe draw to later, don't forget to share your work at Discord as well as at my Facebook page. Awesome. Thank you, Manjula. Thank you, Jishanul. Awesome. So now we'll work in these outer sections. So in the outer section, I'm just turning like, I'm taking these two sections first and we're going to start from this center point and we will go towards the right hand side. Because lines are longer, so I'm taking one line at a time I'm not drawing continuous, but when the block will become smaller, then I'll keep drawing the continuous line, like I'll not stop at the end. So when lines are longer, if you want to use the ruler and if you really want your lines to be very, very straight, you can use that. So sometimes we draw this just for our fun and for relaxing things. So then we really avoid to use the ruler or any other tool. But when you are drawing really looking for not for the relaxing thing, but looking for the perfection more so you can use tools not a problem now you see the block is kind of smaller so I would love to draw a continuous line and drawing continuous line is so much fun Keep on drawing slanted line. Still draw slow. Take care of the space between the lines. Sometimes by accidentally if you left a lot of space, you can just fill that space with one extra line later on. You can fix it real easily. So this is just one block. And now we are going to do the same thing in this one. But again, we are going to start from the center. And this time, we'll go to the left-hand side. Start from the center and go anti-clockwise. So one block clockwise, one block anti-clockwise. So this was actually, we go towards the right and we started anti-clockwise. This one, we are going towards the left and now we'll go clockwise. Okay. 
and here we are going to get the beautiful fan this this will complete here so whenever we are drawing spiral art we get either the twisted columns or the fans based on on which point you are starting and in which direction you are going Now I'm drawing the continuous line. Try to keep your hand away from your work. That will help not to smudge your work. So here we got these beautiful, you know, these crown kind of shape and we call it a fan and these are the twisted columns and here are some accent, beautiful striping we did. Now we are going to work in these two columns and the procedure is exactly same. Well, we are going to start from the center. For this one, we are going to go towards the right hand side and anti-clockwise and this one go going towards the left and clockwise. And we are going to repeat the same thing on all four sides. Next Saturday, we are going to do one more beautiful Zendala. And Sunday again, the same thing, Spiral Art. And very soon, I will update my calendar for April. where I'm planning for some Zentangle sessions, some Mandala and Zendala sessions. I will update all the sessions in my schedule. You can see my schedule at my Discord as well as at my Facebook. I will update at both places. A beautiful this heart shape here and here is the fan shape again now we are going to work in this box thank you Mitu <clears throat> we are going to start from the center and we'll go towards the left thank you for subscribing my channel and liking the video Awesome. So now after completing this we are done with the two sides 
and we are left with the two sides we are going to repeat the exactly same process that is the main base of any pattern drawing with that we keep on repeating the same thing again and again and that gives us that you know that relaxing feeling again we are going to just take care that we are going to start from the center and going towards the right and then we keep on drawing in the same direction Straightening it so that I can see it clearly. Is it visible? Yes. Sit in the relaxing position. Don't stress your shoulders or your arm. and enjoy the process keep smiling while drawing smile comes naturally to me when I drawing these kind of pattern art anything because it's really so much fun to draw these right and it's looking so beautiful it's coming along so symmetrical everywhere now we are going to start from this center point again and going towards the left hand side And when I was away for the last whole month I uploaded four videos in my channel for some tangle patterns some tangles of the you know grid tangles all and tangle original if you have not seen them you can see them and you can practice them they are really very good and we can use those tangles in our various and tangle artwork as the background as the base or as the main tangle Maybe sometime we use them as for our, you know, making the strings. So, if you have not seen them, go ahead and look at my channel for all those four last uploaded videos, which I uploaded last month. And now we are at the last section. Starting from the center. I hope everyone is keeping up well. It's the same repeated pattern. keep on drawing and when you think the block is pretty small and you can take the whole block in all four directions without breaking the line then you can draw the continuous line keep drawing We are just left with one more block and then we'll do shading. And shading is absolutely your choice. 
if you want you can do shading with the pencil if you want you can do shading with the um, with the, any color pencils start from the center go towards the left hand side I'm going to do shading with the graphite pencil here move the paper up yes keep working This is our last block. Yay. Beautiful. And now it's the time for the shading. And I'm doing the shading quickly. Here you see uh, where these fence edges are. So I'm laying down graphite alongside where these fan edges in all four sides. Using the side of the tip of my pencil. So it becomes easier to blend. If you use direct tip then it becomes a little tough to blend because then graphite is kind of not that easy to blend if you use the tip and you get the more marks in your paper here in the corner in these twisted drums to create more depth and the dimension And use your tortillon, your blending stump or the q-tip for blending these graphite which you lay down and as you see if you mess up a little bit here and there, you can fix it and make it a part of your work. Like I did a little bit on this circle. I have already planned a little thicker border all, although in the circle. I was planned to make it little reinforce the circle and make it thicker. But uh, when I see that my few lines are going out, I just made it a little bit more thicker and that's also absolutely, you know, looking good. If you want, you can use again a little bit more pen, little thicker pen and I'm going to fill all these, you know, little white spots which are seen. That's absolutely your choice if you want to do a little bit more. And in the edges, in all four. And that's it. After that, the chop time, write down your initials, sign date whatever you want to do and you can plan which direction this one this particular design is very symmetrical in all four sides you can keep it in any directions sometimes we keep it very organic so after completing the whole pattern you can decide keep rotating your work and then you can decide whichever direction you feel like to keep it straight to keep it up or down that's the fun and this is spiral art too that's the fun time here you go this is our complete spiral art i hope you guys enjoyed it and now it's the time to sign to write your initials 
I'm writing here in P and what is today's date? Today is 26, right? 27th. What is date today, Ajay? 28th. 28th. So 3.28.21 and now take your work in your hand and you can appreciate, you can pat your shoulder and say we spent beautiful this 30 minutes or the 40 minutes together in this beautiful spiral art session you can on the back you can write down nidhi prakash arts you can write down youtube live spiral art or any of your tags whichever you want basically these are the paradox tangle if you if you want to know the name the tangle which you are using using these spiral art which we call they all are the paradox tangle the name of the tangle is the paradox which we are using in the all these that's it guys <laughs> thank you yeah it is so that's our imagination you know you can think of it whatever you feel like and you can give it a name why not it's your artwork you can give it a name okay guys see you next week next week we are going to draw this beautiful zendala and many more spiral art and other zentangle sessions bye see you then